agriculture, uh, uh, sustainable agriculture everywhere, whether it's in urban area or it's in suburban areas um, uh, or small towns uh, and townships and villages uh, around the world. It's all about uh, local food. And that's what we're trying to do is uh, build a local food system uh, that keeps us uh, happy and healthy and food is Food is the most important thing in our lives. I mean, it's the one thing that links everybody in this room tonight, the fact that we have to eat food. And my thing has always been, why, why aren't we eating good food? Uh, food that will uh, uh, help us stay healthy. Food is medicine. We're starting to hear medical folks uh, that are now on board uh, the Good Food Revolution along with uh, uh, politicos and uh, uh, Folks from all sectors of our society are part of the food movement now, and, and that's very important. It's also important for us to build these uh, relationships and the partnerships, all of these food policy councils, and we started one in Chicago quite a few years ago that's very inclusive. Um, Erica, my daughter, is the president of that, and we started that uh, uh, probably uh, close to 10 years ago. And uh, I think it's one of the best ones, but it includes both political folks, but it includes anybody in the community that wants to come and be involved. And that's important. Um, this uh, Good Food Revolution is inclusive of everybody. A lot of times we talk about these communities uh, that we're working in, but many times the people that we're talking about are not represented at, at the table. They're not represented at the leadership level. And that's what we have to fix. We have to make sure that those people that we're working with are at the leadership level. That uh, uh, the faces of those people are the faces of the people in those communities. It would be much more effective. And I know Debbie, uh, with Food Chair and others, and, uh, are working on that issue here. And, uh, I've seen some tremendous improvements uh, in that area of diversity. And I think that's very important. The only way we can really build a sustainable food system is uh, for everybody to be included in the process. So uh, uh, that's important. And the other thing that's important in terms of uh, these food policy councils uh, is that we include projects. For us to move people along, we really have to quantify a lot of things and we really have to do some concrete, have some concrete projects that people can see that these projects really work, that these projects are really feeding our community, that we're just not, um, we need to scale up the system. That we're at a point now where we really, our, our situation is so severe, it's a worldwide crisis with food. And no other time in our existence that we had more people without food, more people getting sick from the food that, that we eat. So we're in a real crisis. I remember when I was at the White House recently and I spoke to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and she said the next wars will be about food and water, the lack of food and water. And they'll be disguised in all kinds of different ways. But our food is so important. And everybody here is responsible, especially uh, folks my age. The seniors, the people, the, the uh, uh, academics that have been involved in the food system for many, many years. We need to pass on to this new generation. As I go around the country and around the world, I see this new group of folks. They're under 40. They want to get involved. They want to learn. And we have to pass on what we've learned to them so that they can take it a step further and pass it on to the next generation because that's how we used to learn. And we have to get back to that. Because we talk about turning back the clock and, and to the days when we did at one point have local food systems that fed us. In states like Michigan and Wisconsin and Iowa, um, you know, 50 years ago, our food came from those states. But if you take, say, Milwaukee, 99% of the food in Milwaukee is brought in from, from many miles away. So we have to build that, that system back. And we have to make sure that this next generation, which I believe will take it and really improve everything, this next generation, we have to be able to pass on what we've learned to them. Because they're eager, they want to know. But we have to quantify some things to make sure that uh, when, they're, when they think about we want to become 
one of the hundreds of different categories of jobs that we have passed on that information to them. That it's quantifiable, that they can make a living at it. Because as I go around the colleges and universities, these young people maybe don't want to go into corporate America. They want to go back to their communities and improve their communities. And, and that's one of the things that's made me uh, happy. And the fact that many people of color are now, because the first link when she put that small 1,200 uh, square foot garden at the White House, 10 million people started growing food again. 10 million people in the world. <laughs> so what I'll tell you tonight is that we really need to go uh, into action. And it's, it's really uh, gratifying to see that the city government officials are behind, in this city, are behind the movement. It's similar to what's happening in Milwaukee, where an automatic district, a mayor, is very much involved in what we do in Milwaukee. So it's, uh, I think you all have a step up. Uh, now you just have to go out and make it happen. Thank you very much.